Today we will turn one of these glass lids on the wood lathe using a few 3D printed tools and jigs. In order to work on the lid we have to hold it in a chuck. However, the jars of my chuck are not large enough to hold the lid. So I used FreeCAD to create a quick design of a jaw with the right size and printed them with 100% infill from PLA. Let's mount them on the chuck and see if they are going to explode. To hold the wood in the chuck in the first place, I make circular discs with a hole saw and glue these discs with hot glue on the wood. We can now use a scraper to work on the underside of the lid. This tannin keeps the lid on the glass and can also be used to hold the lid in the chuck when working on the upper side of the lid. After cutting the tannin, we can sand it and I have to say so far the 3D print holds very well. Before cutting the part round, I remove the corners on the bandsaw, mainly to avoid putting too much stress on the 3D printed parts. We can then work on the outside of the lid. After working in a small radius, I sand it smooth. With a chisel, I can easily pop off the temporary tannin. The new tannin is now used to hold the lid in the chuck while working on the top side of the lid. After sanding the surface to 320 grit, the lid gets a coat of hot oil. While the oil on this lid is drying, let's look at an alternative method on how to create the lid without using the temporary tannin and hot glue. To do so, we need this super simple disc that fits perfectly in the 3D printed jaws. We cover the surface of the plate with a generous amount of silicone and then glue a piece of anti-slip rubber on the plate. After mounting this plate in the truck, we can use a simple 3D printed cover that we put over the tailstock and then firmly press the wood with the tailstock against the plate. I have printed a small accessory that holds a pencil and if pressed against the tailstock cover marks a circle of exactly 65 millimeters. We now create a shallow tannin of this diameter. Next we remove the rubber coated plate and fix the tannin in the chuck. I 
can now work on the underside of the list. As before, I create a tannin and while still supported by the tail stock, turn the piece round. Before marking the outer diameter, I came up with another simple jig that takes a pencil and when I align the tip with the center of the workpiece, it marks a precise 95mm wide circle. The rest of the process is the same as before, creating a smooth surface on the upper side and sanding it. These lids are very nice presents, especially when combined with an epoxy laser inlay or by inlaying some laser cut veneer. If you are interested on how I cut the veneer, I will link to another video where I go through the process in detail. But now let's also take stock on how well the 3D prints performed on the lathe. There is no question that the marking jigs are super helpful and easier than fiddling around with calipers. Protecting the tailstock with a 3D printed cap works well and the rubber coated plate is also pretty stable and helpful. The jaws have been doing a good job for 3 or 4 lids, but after that started to break along the layer lines. So it works decent and it might be possible to improve this with other filaments such as PETG or nylon. However, while they are not a long-term replacement for steel jaws, they did a good job for a few lids and sometimes this is all you need for a one-off object. Let me know if you have other ideas for use cases of 3D printing on the lathe and also have a look at some of my other videos about 3D printing and woodworking.